Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be assembling the Weber 335 grill, and this should be pretty similar to the 435, the 310, any of the 3 and 400 series. And uh, so this one's going to have the side burner, and otherwise it's a three burner grill. So before you get started, make sure you got the correct one. They make LP for liquid propane, and then they also have natural gas. So make sure you have the one that's right for your application. And uh, they suggest that you cut the box open on all four corners and lay it out like this, because there's a lot of heavy pieces in rather than lifting it out of the box. Inside, we'll find our operator manual, as well as instructions on how to assemble it. Uh, they do give you a tool, a little uh, wrench that has two different sizes on here. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and unpackage everything, lay it all out to get familiar with what's in each box. That'll make it a lot easier for assembling and make sure you have a lot of space to do this with. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and open this up here. Uh, the parts, were, the hardware was really hard to find. It was actually in here. I thought it didn't come with it, but it is under all these boxes. You'll find the bag, so uh, don't get too concerned. Look for it to, in here first, and uh, each of these is labeled. So, for example, this is bag A, and it'll tell you what is in that hardware. Some of the bags have a sticker on them with the letter for A, B, and C, and some just have it printed on the bag. So we're going to start off by taking a wheel and we're going to put uh, this shaft through it and we're going to get our cotter pin and we're going to push it in and we're going to click it. But we're only going to do this with one wheel right now. Next, we're going to take our frame and we're going to put them both vertical like this with the wheel going through it. And notice you want uh, it to look like this with uh, the other pieces on the insides. And then this will be where we'll put on our casters, but you see it's black on the top of each of those. So we're going to go ahead and put our wheel with the rod through the hole here, and it's going to go through this one as well. And so uh, next we're going to bring in our other wheel and attach it. So it just slides on the end, just like the other one did. And we're going to go ahead and put our cotter pin through here until it clicks, and it should look like this. Uh, next we're going to bring in the little hub cap, and so this just pops into place. Just line it up and push it in, and it will click right into its place. And our casters come next. We just put them down into the little hole here on this black foot and push down until it clicks. So we'll just repeat that for the second caster. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to this panel. It has a hole in it. And you can see they've put yellow dots to match up so you know that you're on the correct side here. So we're going to line this up and we're just going to put our screws in. These are just the Phillips point screws and there's one for each corner. So we're gonna go ahead and put one on each corner here and tighten them down. Uh, next, we're gonna find our push pins and these are black uh, push pins. They look like they screw in, uh, but you actually just push them straight. So what we're gonna do is bring in our bottom panel here. We're gonna lift it up and we're gonna line it up uh, to the holes here. So the, now we're gonna come into the side corners and we're gonna push these push pins through. So just line it up and you'll notice when you push it, it kind of uh, flattens down and push it a little bit more, it'll mushroom and then that's uh, when it's done. So make sure you push it all the way till it uh, mushrooms both ways, all the way out. Uh, next, it gave me these two uh, clips here and it says to put them down here at the bottom where the cabinets will come on but it's very odd as they didn't fit very well and later the cabinet doors go in there so um, maybe it's for a different model it included them and they really didn't go with this for any reason that I could find all right next you're going to find these panels that have lines in them but there's a third one that's bigger than all of them so that's the one we're using it has the edge on here and you can see where we're going to put push pins through here so this is the very back and so we're gonna basically uh, line it up like this make sure it looks like this with the lines on the top two parts of it and uh, we're gonna line the holes up and we're just gonna put push push pins through all four corners here uh, so as you can see in the bottom we just lined up our push pins and clicked it here and on the other side as well just push it in and now we're going to lift the panel up and uh, we're going to put two more push pins in, one on each side. So very simple on this one.
come around to the other side, line it up. And sometimes you have to lift up on some of the panels to get these to line up perfectly. Um, but so uh, you can get these in. So again, this is what the back panel looks like now. Two pins in the top and two push pins uh, in the bottom. Okay, next we're gonna grab our next hardware bag, which is B, and it's nice because uh, each step of the way you stay with the same hardware bag. So we're gonna open up B and now we're working with all this. Um, next, we're gonna bring in this piece here. As you can see, it has a smaller section and a bigger section at the bottom. So that's uh, what this one should look like and it just hangs on the side. And we're just gonna put four of these uh, Phillips screws in. So uh, two on the top, two on the bottom just tighten them down next it's going to actually have us remove this top grill cover so we're going to pull it up and inside there's cotter pins so just pull them straight back and they'll come out and so we'll pop this this one out we'll pull this one out and uh, you, there's also just uh, little push pins that we're now going to slide out and so this recommends being a two-person job just to help stabilize it and get it out so pop those pins out and then just lift the cover off and that's gonna help us uh, with the rest of the install. Uh, next, we're gonna look at our wires here. Um, we got our wiring harness and then we have some of the hose lines. And so as we lift this section in, just make sure that these uh, wires don't go behind the gas line. I'll show you what it should look like. So we're gonna lift this uh, gas uh, area into place and set it down in the tray. And so as you look here, you want the wiring to go behind this post, just like this. And it just stresses in the manual to make sure that the wiring is in front of uh, the gas line. So it should look something like this. Okay, this hose as well was kinked. So go ahead and unwind it if you need to. Mine was kinked and now it's nice and smooth and it should go around that uh, post again, and then these wires should uh, again be coming loosely in front of it. All right, we're gonna open up our next bag here, and it has some uh, more gray looking hardware. So two of these are gonna go into the front, and they have uh, little washers that go on them. So we're gonna go ahead and take these, put their included washer on it here. And so this is the very front of the grill, right under all the knobs and the handles and we're just going to tighten both of these down so for this year we're using a 7 16 inch socket or the included wrench that they gave you and so we're going to go ahead and tighten this down on both sides again make sure that the washer is behind it as well and now on the back side it has these screws that we're going to put in and they look kind of funny because when they're screwed in they still poke out so it looks like they need to go in farther but uh, you're gonna start screwing them in and you'll see on the back side where they start to come in a little bit. But when the threads end on that, that's as far as they need to go in. So this is what they should look like here when they're in. It looks like they're not uh, in all the way. That's as far as that they need to go. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in our uh, big panel here that has all the holes in it. And this is our weigh scale. So this will tell you how full your propane is by uh, the weight. And so there's two holes here, and we're just gonna line this up and put uh, two screws coming in from the backside. Next, we're gonna bring that panel in with the waste scale on it and make sure that both the gas lines are coming on top of this panel. So you wanna grab both of these and get them basically bundled up at the top. So put them maybe up over the corner like this so that they don't get trapped down in there but both the gas lines need to go up and over this panel. Next, we're gonna install four screws to keep this panel on. So just uh, on each corner, make sure you put in one of these cross point screws and tighten them all down. And so this is what it needs to look like with both of these gas hoses lines. Make sure they did not get trapped down in there. And uh, that's fine for those gas ones. As for the power wires, they need to go down in between. So they will go all the way to the bottom. It also gives you some hardware here that uh, the screws will screw into these black pieces and it just goes on the back side here. And they basically go into nothing. So just put the screw through and tighten it down with the little black piece that it goes on. 
Next, we have our battery with our starter kit, and it also comes with one bolt, and so that bolt is gonna go for where this uh, gas line attaches to the grill. So we're gonna take this, and as you can see, there's a, a little notch in it for it to hang, and so we're gonna attach it to the back of this panel, and we're gonna go ahead and put that screw coming through the other side to secure it. So just bring the screw through the back side, which is near the cabinet area, and it will just tighten into this fitting, and that'll just hold it in place. Okay, so here's a final look of what this should look like now. So that's nice and tightened down. Here's our control module here, and as you see on the back side, it has two little notches, and so we're gonna go ahead and put those into the cabinet side here. So we're gonna line this up, and as you can see on the back side here, it's just gonna go into these two slots and then down. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our battery and so you can see it's the positive side up and then we put uh, it just into its little sleeve and tighten it down. Next we have bag G and so this has our brackets in it for hanging our side uh, mounting shelves and so uh, it says up on them as you can see what we're going to do is just put them on the very end here on these uh, studs that are already coming out so from here we're going to just bring in the side shelves and we're going to line them up with the holes and just hang them from here and then secure them with the two nuts on each side and this is the same 7 16 inch uh, wrench for doing this or the provided wrench that they gave you Okay, we're gonna put the shelf on the other side in the exact same way. The only difference if you have a 335 or a grill like this one that has the side burner, nice uh, shaker there, by the way. <laughs> nice view there. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put on our burner here. And so we're gonna put this one down first. It lines up right over that uh, post on the top. Next, we're gonna bring in this piece that has two holes, one on each side, and so that lines up here. And then the little grate that it comes with just sits right on top. It doesn't really, um, it doesn't really go down into much here. Our knobs just push on, so if you look at them, there's like a half moon shape here, half of a circle. So you just wanna line up the back of it so that it matches, so you can see where it's domed and you just wanna make sure that it lines up and then you're just gonna push it straight on and all of the knobs go on that same way. So you can test the knob once you put it on, you should be able to push in on it and move it to the different settings. Okay, next we're gonna connect our side burner. So this is very easy, I like how they did this, it's just a quick connect fitting, so you pull it back and then uh, slide it over the fitting here. And so for this, I like to support the back of the fitting too, just so that it didn't uh, bend or break or anything like that, but we'll just slid it right on. Next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the wires that you'll find from here, pull them out, and you'll see you have a blue and a white one. And so we're gonna feed it through this little hole in the side right there. Okay, now we're gonna pull them down to the control module and they just plug right in, just match them up by color. Now for the 435 grill, it mentions another ground that needs to be added. And so uh, I'll just give you a look here at the owner's manual so you can find it if you have the 435 grill, but it said it was a 435 only. So now we're gonna get our next uh, bag here. This is bag D. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these trim pieces on. So on the back, there's one here and it just slides in over this and just match that up and screw those in. Okay, just a Phillips screwdriver on that. And then the front has a trim piece as well. That's the polished look. So we're just gonna line that up as well and tighten those two down. That's what that should look like on the front. Next, we're gonna bring in this piece and it requires us to do the plug. So on this end, you're gonna remove this white piece. It's just a plug protector. Make sure you take that off. And we're gonna bring in our wires here. There's only two of them on the very far end. And so we're just gonna plug them in. They just slide right on. Just make sure they go all the way on. And then you'll see there's notches here um, and they're gonna go into these holes, one on each side. So we're gonna hang this front panel by just putting it right there on the front. 
Okay, so once you get that down in the notches, it should sit down in it pretty good, and then you'll find that there are two places to put screws at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and test this too. And hear it click <laughs> uh, before we get uh, too far into this, and just put in our two screws so there's just one on each side that holds that face plate on. So one here, and one here. Okay, we're gonna open up our next bag, and this is our F bag, and this is for the cabinets. And so here's the easiest way I found for the cabinets. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is put it to, on its back here, and you're gonna get your two big plastic pieces, and they just kind of sit down into it. Okay, next we're gonna bring in our screw and just drop one down into each of these holes. And so now with the screws coming out, there's this piece and it's flat on the back. It's a little plastic piece. So put the flat end against the cabinet door and we're gonna do that on both sides. And so now when we bring in the handle, it will sit inside that little plastic piece that we just put on. And then just tighten it down on both sides and now your cabinet door is ready. So here's a close up again. You can see the plastic piece and how it surrounds the handle with the flat pa uh, piece on the back uh, cabinet side. So very simple there. Now, when we go to put these in, what you'll notice is on the very top of the cabinet, it has a spring-loaded little lever here. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is take this piece here, and it's gonna go into the bottom of the cabinet on the door. And so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. And now we're gonna put that end on first. So the gray piece is at the bottom here and we're gonna put it into the bottom of the cabinet. We're gonna tilt it in like this. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to reach up to the top, and this is where we're pushing that uh, spring-loaded pin down, and then we can slide it forward gently and it'll pop right into place, and so that's how the doors go on. Okay, we're on to our next bag H here. And so uh, for H, we're gonna go ahead and just put this panel, the one that has the warning label, as you can see, it can just slide right onto the side here. So it has a little notch for the top one, and there's a, there's one notch at the top, and it's gonna slide down into it. And at the same time, there's two notches that we're lining up at the bottom. Uh, so once that's uh, on, we're just gonna take these push pins. Very simply, we're just gonna push these into the holes. So there's one here at the top. There's another one here at the bottom. Okay, and uh, now we're gonna do the same thing on the, le the other side here with this other panel. So we're just bringing this one in. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this other one in and slide it down in the same way, two at the bottom, one at the top. And we're just taking our push pins and popping them right in to hold this panel on. So one here at the bottom, and then uh, one here at the top. Next, it wants you just to lift up on this grate, just to flip it out and pop it up. Okay, now we're gonna put our pins back in the side here as we line these up. So just make sure that you get one on each side and we're gonna take our little cotter pins that we pulled out earlier and we're just gonna slide them in. And so if you haven't done it already, line up all the other knobs. There's a smaller one here that goes in the middle. And again, look for that uh, U-shape uh, design for it so that it lines up properly. I'm just gonna line these up and push them straight on. Okay, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna first put in these triangular pieces with the big slits in them. So they just fit down into the very bottom and you'll see the notches for them that's laid out and so they just set down in there and next we just put on the larger triangular pieces and so there's more of these ones so we're just going to go ahead and line them up and put them uh, across the top next we're going to put the grates on the top so they just go side by side and sit in there just like this and uh we're gonna go ahead and close this now. Now in the bottom, there's the belly pan. So if you look at it, uh, this is what it should look like. It has a little tray, a little, it dips down in the front towards you, 
so you can tell you're putting it in the right way and it's going to slide right in. So we're going to go ahead and put it in here. And there's a little diagram here if you want to see it as well. But basically it's going to just come straight in here and slide right in. So this is how it slides in and out. Next comes our catch pan. So we're going to go put it inside. It has the removable piece and then the, the tray that it goes into. So we're just going to set that down in there. Okay, make sure everything's all lined up. Uh, now for hooking up the propane tank, it uh, just screws in. So this is the waste system. You're going to basically set it down on this, and you'll see it spring-loaded go down, so that will tell you how uh, full your tank is by weight. And it has this piece that slides over the top, and then you tighten it down. So that should secure the propane tank into place. And... Uh, Here's an example too. You can see where it's red. It shows you how full it is. So you can see as it's lighter, it will go up. And so that's kind of your scale to tell you uh, how full the tank is. Just make sure that's pinched on there nice and tight. Okay, and uh, just screw the propane fitting on here. It should just uh, screw right into your tank. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is turning out really nice. I really enjoy this time of year for doing some grilling. I made some really nice breakfast. And so um, anyway, thanks for watching.